Ladies and gentlemen, what's up and what's going down? How y'all doing today? It's the Dizzy One here bringing you our first game of the season as the New Jersey Knights here in our expansion league. And of course, we're going up against another expansion team in the Carolina Spartans. North or South, it don't matter. They span both states. They got Kevin Durant, Gary Payton, Alonzo Mourning, and Dennis freaking Rodman here on this team. If I do say so myself, both of our jerseys look like absolute fire, and I'm happy to be playing right now as the New Jersey Knights. For those of you who don't know, the Nets left town for greener pastures. They went to Brooklyn. So now we're going to fill in their shoes and try to bring the Nets, or not the Nets, we're going to try to bring the Knights back to the glory days if they ever did have any glory days. I do believe they've won one or two championships, but I don't know when. I'll have to go look that up and probably let you know in the future. But with that being said, we're getting beasted and feasted on in the post right now with Dennis Rodman and Alonzo Mourning just grabbing some rebounds, getting some early baskets. So we got to make sure we protect our own paint because if not, we're going to go down big. But anyways... How would it feel to be New Jersey, you know? Like, everyone talks about your bigger, older, cooler brother, New York, you know? Like, how would it feel to be in New Jersey? I mean, you do have MetLife Stadium, I guess. You got the Giants, which is one of the most iconic teams in the NFL. Uh, you have the New Jersey Mets. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. You got the Yankees. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The Giants are New York, right? The New York Giants. Never mind. You got nothing. What am I talking about? You got the New Jersey. No football team. They're all in New York. Um, yeah. How would it feel to be New Jersey? I mean, you got Lady Liberty going for you, at least. You got Statue of Liberty in your boundaries, technically. But everyone thinks it's part of New York. Huh. Um, I don't know. We're going we're gonna to bring the glory back. We're going to just show out and go for all in this season and just try to get a championship because we need to bring something to New Jersey. We need to give them something amazing that they can cheer for, that they can root for, that they can be proud of. I mean, let's go. Let's get it. But right now, we're getting beasted and feasted on. 24 to 13. My goodness. Kemba dancing all the way up and around. Nobody can stop him. Can you stop the man? No, sir. All the way to the basket. Kemba Walker dancing, prancing. Put in on a show here in New Jersey. Now, one thing I do want to say, guys, I, I really didn't take into account the name of our stadium. So we're the New Jersey Knights. And, of course, we have a Bronx Field Stadium. Uh, Bronx Field House, I do believe, is the name of our stadium. So we're in New Jersey, but we're in the Bronx. But then again, we're also in Toronto because it says... Toronto Bronx Fieldhouse. So if you guys can figure out where we're playing, I'm gonna be really excited. This is just so confusing to me. But yeah, um, <laughs> just uh, the devil is in the details. So should have paid a little bit more attention to that. Maybe I'll change it up. Maybe not. Maybe it'll just be like a little quirk in our own little uh, series right here. But yeah, one thing I do got to say is on the boards, we're getting beat really badly. I've been saying that a lot. Look at that right there. Another basket in the paint. They didn't even need to get a rebound to get a basket there. They just straight up dished the ball down low, got a basket, and we got to do better. Uh, one thing I do want to say is Kevin Durant catching the lob, the glove, throwing it, pitching it to Kevin Durant, and he made sure to throw it down hard. We are getting a lot of transition points, easy baskets on the run. Um, that's mainly because we got three guys who finished extremely well around the basket who can also just stop and pop, knock down a shot if they need to. We got LeBron James, of course. Nothing needs to be said about him. He's just the best transition player probably in the game other than maybe Magic Johnson because of his size. Um, uh, I'd have to... I don't know. There's definitely Julius Irvin, Dr. J, but LeBron James, you, you, all you need to say is LeBron James, and that's just, it's a killer, that's, it's game over pretty much, so we got LeBron, we got James Harden, and he's very deadly, bringing that ball up, you got Vince Carter, who's playing out of position, but sort of in position, so he's definitely going to be stronger 
than most shooting guards just because he's the natural small forward in this game so they're gonna give him a little more strength than most shooting guards because he's bigger i guess you could say so right there alonzo morning just not caring at all trying to break our rims here in new jersey come on now let's go boy two expansion teams just trying to vie for greatness right now and james harden easy pick and roll got the basket it's 42 to 38 at the moment no matter what we do we can't seem to get a basket lebron with a turnover for an easy layup to kevin durant who looked like he was gonna dunk it but just decided to play a little bit and lay it in now guys i would i, I do want to say this my my voice is a little weird right now i literally just woke up and i i went straight to recording because i'm planning to do two videos a day starting from now on which is gonna be crazy uh i'm planning to put kingdom hearts on here every single day of the week which is insane because i've never done a video for every day of the week i'm excited about that i'm happy never played kingdom hearts before so i'm gonna go through the whole series and by the time kingdom hearts 3 comes out i'm hoping i'm wishing that we can go ahead and play that series on the channel because I'm gonna be excited about it. I bought Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 and all that other great stuff. So I'm playing every single installment of the series and we're gonna have some fun on this channel with a let's play. And it's gonna be every day, unless I do miss a day, then of course it's not. But for the most part, I'm gonna try my best. I only have four days to record, so it's gonna be kinda weird, kinda tricky to get that stuff out there. Um yeah so we'll see what we could do with that no promises but for the most part there will be kingdom hearts at least five days a week and hopefully there will be kingdom hearts seven days a week which i'm gonna be excited for so let's go ahead and get that started on right after this video you guys are gonna see that video pop up a little bit later on in the day but with that being said guys let's go ahead and talk about this game it's 51 to 47 here in the third quarter and guess what ducksworth a seven foot center they're just beasting down low and we can't stop them at all no way no how i know we got some big guys but look at this right here joel Embiid though throwing it down over ducksworth we're getting some baskets we're trying to fight back in this game 53 to 49 and there's a three they missed it they missed a shot danny green on the run in transition to james all the way no one stopped him to the basket and we get an easy one right there 53 to 51 30 seconds remaining they're trying to get an easy basket and they get a dunk how many baskets can we allow inside our own paint do you guys like <laughs> do you guys like the colorway of our team i personally love our court our court looks amazing now i didn't make these designs guys but i did add some own flavors to the teams like they're not how they were originally I wanted to keep them original, but I, I needed to make some adjustments to make the teams look a little bit more polished and professional, I guess you could say. Just to add a couple things. Now, I didn't change the name of the stadium and the place we play in, but there's definitely um, definitely some adjustments that I did make, and I, I like some of the adjustments. I like all the adjustments. I mean, I made them. Why, why else would I make them if I didn't like them? But... I, I wanted to just make them feel a little more polished because they had great designs, but they just needed a little bit of tweaking in certain locations just to make it a little bit more uniform, I guess you could say. Talking about uniforms, making things uniform, which is, uh, I don't know. But, yeah. So, hopefully you guys like the designs of the created expansion teams. Let me know what you think so far of the jerseys, of the arenas, of the teams, and i will definitely get back to you we took the lead here in the fourth guys we are playing on a little bit above hall of fame i decided that i don't want to just play in hall of fame hall of fame is difficult but eventually you get used to it i want games to be super close and super interesting and i don't want to have to make games interesting by messing up plays like uh back in a couple series ago like I made sure to make it more interesting, like letting the other team hang around for a couple quarters and then just going at it. No, 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 no. But like I used to do that because if not, it'd just be a straight up blowout, 40 points every single time. Now I increase the difficulty and all of these games are, all the games that I've played so far 
are really, really close and scary. Like, I want games to actually matter, and I want games to actually feel like you gotta play to win, and not just wing it, and just understand the sequences that the CPU goes through and all that. So, yeah, the, the CPU is a lot higher, our players are a lot dumber, but hopefully we can get victories and we can get things going, happening for us in this game. 68 to 67 as you guys already see we were trailing the whole game but we fought back hard i'm still getting used to the team and learning how they play and oh my goodness that was a key stop for us right there whoo that was beautiful by our team we were getting just scored on at will in the paint and then finally we get two good stops and we get a basket amari stottlemyer that pass by lebron was almost picked off but it was still on point and we get the basket from Amari Stoudemire, assist by LeBron, no, assist by James Harden, but 70 to 69, they really just, they gotta stop us, but they're not, Sigma, he's not shooting a three, that's a two-pointer, and he's good at two-pointers, he makes that basket, and we get it to go, at the end of the day, our big guys are getting the last laugh, getting the points that matter the most in this game, all the baskets in the paint were allowed by our big guys, but guess what, they make up for it and oh my goodness they got a foul 72 to 71 that's the score right now but we're making free throws and sigma the final blow has been occurred by jack sigma and uh that's pretty much it right there gary payton has the ball giving it to dennis rodman who makes a three-pointer and if that doesn't say it right there guys of how good this th these teams actually are um dennis rodman just made a three-pointer <laughs> But we come away with the victory. Kevin Durant, a little bit disappointed. Look at that man. Oh, don't cry, KD. I promise to be nice to you. I know I don't like you. I don't like you as a person. You're a great basketball player, but grow some character. I don't know. But anyways, that's going to do it for this game, guys. I'm really excited. I don't normally ask for likes and subscriptions. Subscriptions. Oh, my goodness. I don't ask for likes and, su and subs at the start of the video because I want you guys to know what you're getting before you guys actually like subscribe and leave a like but at the end of the videos i always want to ask for those because if you did enjoy i got plenty more of these videos on the way thank you guys for subscribing for those of you who did and do support me i really do appreciate it hope you guys enjoyed see you in the next episode adios